Okay, and welcome back to day 12 of Vlogmas. So here we have our Happy Holiday, which I believe is another repeat. So I'm not gonna go into the whole description. I'll try this out. Yeah, that one's good. And it has a little bit of pepper in it. Okay, so started back at the work week today at work. And this week is a lot more calm than last week. Last week was kind of the flurry of getting everything done before the end of the semester. Uh, this week is finals week, so a lot of panicked teachers for getting their keys and things like that and locking themselves out of their office where all of their final exams are located. So I had to do some running around today, but that's what I'm there for, so happy to do it. We've got our advent calendar. I'm gonna open that up. The dogs are trying to jump up right now. Just not gonna happen right now, guys. Okay, number 12. We're like halfway through. That's insane. You got all the traffic coming back into the neighborhood from work today. Ooh, definitely getting a little stripe of darker blue in there. That's really pretty. Yeah, I'm really envisioning what the shawl is going to look like and enjoying myself with it. Um, and we got our four ornaments done, so I'll show you a close-up of those. And the next four just get harder, but I think I've only got two more sets of four after this, so that's good. And... Well, I'll have to work on this one weeknights this week, but next week I will have the schedule wide open to work on them, so that's good. And got back to the blanket. Let me show you where we got to with that. I don't want to undo the whole thing, so let me just show you that. So we did, I think, these last three stripes. So the... Uh, the thing that looks like the the trees is a little wonky from, you know, her description and what the picture looks like. But from far away, it looks like trees, so that's good. And the other stitch is just kind of a cluster stitch, so that's nice. So enjoyed working on that. It's getting really huge now, and I think I've got six more stripes left, so I've got one more kit with the instructions. They did upload they did upload the videos for the next kit so technically if I just want to do the videos I could um, I could get going on those as well because I've got tons of leftover yarn right now to work with so I could do that but I think there's another kit after that with the border and everything because it doesn't look like the borders included on that last kit so we shall see maybe I can fudge my way into getting it done before the end of the year oh my god Lucy's being a bossy little bee right now hasn't gotten attention all day apparently so I'm gonna go give the dogs some attention and eat some dinner and then we'll get going on all the projects I keep forgetting to introduce myself in these things. Hi, my name is Heather, and I run a small handmade business called Lemon Tree Corner, where I make purses and bags and lots of crafty stuff. So that's what this channel is all about. Kind of uh, uh, behind the scenes in my studio, in my making process, and then all the little crafty rabbit holes that I go down as well. So thank you for joining me this week, and if you're one of my regulars, thank you for coming back each week and spending time with me. I really appreciate it. 
And as always, please go ahead and hit that like button if you're liking the video. And if you get to the end of the video and you're still around, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and join me on this journey. Okay, let's get to work. Christmas, all the happy smiles and the wishes, and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Tell me one thing is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true. The love I live, the dream I knew. This Christmas, I only want to be close to you. Magical time full of kisses. Take a walk outside and tickle the snowman's nose. Moving nimbly. Did you hear something?
something from the chimney. I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. So I'm down to three of the neon Tetras, started with five, lost one pretty much that first week. I think he was being bullied um, and lost the other one a little while ago. And I think I've basically figured out I've been overfeeding them this whole time. So the Tetras don't like that. I have these... Um, Orange and black guys are supposed to be like the really hardy guys, the heavy duty guys that I got at the very beginning that were suggested to me by the fish store as these are the ones you cannot kill. You know what I mean? Like these are the best ones for a new tank when you're just getting the tank started and your, you know, your beneficial, beneficial algae aren't really set up yet <clears throat> so I've got here here they are two or three I can't remember what I, I think I only have two of these guys left um, they look like they got a disease a while back and we did a, like a major tank clean because the tank was starting to smell bad and changed the filter media and everything and uh, lost one right after that that I think was already going downhill. And then lost another one. And then we had three for a while. And we just did another major tank change, you know, tank clean water change. And I don't know if we're just changing the too extreme of a water change. Or we waited too long and there was already so much, like, gunk built up. Um, you'll see it's a little cloudy here. So this is the problem I'm having. Uh, we vacuum the rocks down here and everything. And, and I also think this yellow guy is bullying everything. So Mr. Yellow is kind of the alpha and you'll see that the other fish are hiding down here even when there's food. So all the food winds up dropping to the bottom before any of these fish get to eat it because they're all afraid to compete with Mr. Yellow here. And the little filter waterfall pushes the food down so fast that a lot of times they don't get it. <clears throat> so at this point, I'm trying to just leave them alone. You know, before I would try and make sure that the fish food fell in a certain way. And I just ordered some pellet food. I'm hoping that's not going to fall the same way that this is. Um, the bottom feeders love the tank. They've been happy. They're pretty hardy. I'm just worried about the five tetras I have left and if they're going to make it. So I got to go to the fish store tomorrow and ask some questions and admit that I don't know everything, which is hard for me to do. <laughs> but this is where we're at. It's kind of, you know... The bottom feeder guys are cute and active and everything, but they blend in. So it just looks like I have this big empty tank. Because, like, Mr. Orange down here isn't eating at all. And then there's a Mr. Blue somewhere who's hiding out. And I don't know if he's getting any of this food. See how the food's just falling to the floor? So the food falling to the floor just makes more debris. I mean, the bottom feeders eat some of it, but... <clears throat> You know, there's too much debris at the bottom, and then it all decomposes and stinks up the tank. So, 
That's the problem I'm finding now. There's Mr. Blue. So I wind up turning on the light every day going, I got to count all the fish because I got to make sure nobody's dead in the tank, you know? Oh, so I just feel like a failure and I feel like a bad human being. Part of me is like, I don't want to get any new fish. I want to figure out what's going on here. I don't want to put anybody else's life in danger. So I might just wind up with a tank of these little bottom feeder Katie's for a while. And, and that's my tank. I don't know. Oreo in the shot here. Oreo's making a surprise appearance. Okay, this one is called Ghostly Green, which does not sound good to me, but we shall see. It is an organic green tea with cinnamon, ginger, peppermint, and rose petals. Oh, rose. That's another one that's not my favorite. <laughs> Let's try it out. Oh, definitely taste the peppermint. Peppermint kind of overwhelms the green tea and the rose, which is good for me. <laughs> and my sister felt compelled to make those cookies I was talking about a few episodes ago that my grandma used to make. So we've got sand, sand tarts, that's what they're called. Sand tarts, not sand dabs. Sand dabs is a kind of fish, right? <laughs> so she made these and dropped these off for me. We'll give them a try. Mm-hmm. That's the taste, all right. Thank you, Kelly. Um, and kind of like a sugar cookie with the cinnamon sugar topping on them. Um, and they are on one of those Pioneer Woman plates I was talking about that I got in the set. They look super, super 50s, 60s. It's so cute. So that's cute. So I really appreciate these, Kelly, and for you, you and I being team members on team traditional rituals. So thank you. It does take some work, but they're always beautiful things to keep alive. Okay, right, we got our yarn, which has been getting nice and dark. So we shall see. Number 14. I've got two weeks, two weeks, two days left at work. So really looking forward to this time off. Ooh, pretty. A little deeper. A little deeper in there. I've got some darker blue accents going on. Very pretty. And we've got our bowl back here of all of our yarn. Oh, with one little tail sticking out. <laughs> so, looking forward to doing that. And I think we've only got three caramels left, and I've been lucky so far. So, I'm sure the hot chili is headed my way pretty soon here. This looks like pistachio pieces on top, so I'm gonna hope that I'm lucky. Because one of them was pistachio, right? I think I only had the blood orange and the toffee apple left, and then the hot chili. <clears throat> so, nothing that says pistachio. So let's give this a try. I got my plate with me this time. Okay. Oh, it's dark. I 
Now here's my coffee again. We already had the coffee. It's like super dark chocolate. It's just fall apart. I don't know. It doesn't taste like a particular flavor. Oh wait, let's test it out here. Oh, it is the blood orange balsamic. Okay. Okay. That's doable. Okay, so I have my last day in the office tomorrow and then a little holiday dinner after that with the work peeps and then working from home on Friday and then it'll be the last push to get all the presents and unwrap stuff. Oh, I've got to wrap my boss's gift tonight so I can give that to him tomorrow because it's our last day in the actual office. So that'll be good. Unfortunately, the present I ordered for my coworker isn't going to show up until Saturday. And um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see her before then, but she said she got something for me too. And so she's like, well, let's just do it when we come back in the winter. And that way it's something to look forward to. So that's a great idea. So we'll be exchanging presents um, once we come back to work that first week of January. That's good. So I'm very excited. Uh, I have an idea for an intro for next year's year of bags. So I'm excited to get working on that. Um, I saw a beautiful Vlogmas intro with some stop motion photography and I was like, ooh, cause that's something I could do. You know, I can't really animate anything or at least I don't feel confident that I know how or like how much time that would take me to learn. But the stop motion photography would be pretty easy. So I'm going to look at the hardware store to see if they have any of that like faux brick, faux wood kind of um, sheets of things because that would be a good backdrop for me to photograph stuff on. They have those um, like photo backdrops, but those are pretty pricey and the ones I've looked at aren't really big enough for what I want. So I would love to be able to order something, not order. I would love to be able to go to the uh, hardware store and see if they have anything pre-made like that because otherwise I'm tiling a piece of heavy plywood and yeah, that's not really what I want. So we'll see if we can do that. And then um, I've watched several intros now where they incorporate the, the like, subscribe, notification bell like in the intro. So you guys don't have to listen to me say that every single time. So um, I'd like to do that and just come up with an intro for next year that's really uh, creative and artistic and splashy and that way that we can do the year of bags theme and just be a little easier than me repeating things over and over again. I feel like you guys get hit with that in every video and it's a little more subtle to just have that in the intro without any words. It just makes the whole experience a little bit more digestible. I know we all have to push that and say that, but that's another way for you to, to get the point without it being like hit over the head with it. So I think that would be a refreshing change of pace for my channel. <laughs> so I will get to work. We're going to work on the blanket tonight and then um, also work on the ornaments. I've got two more so pretty much well that takes care of Thursday and Friday so maybe all day Saturday I can just crank through the next set of four ornaments and get them on the tree by the afternoon when I film this I don't know okay time to wrap the present for my boss he does watch the vlog sometimes so I can't show you what it is I will tell you what it is later and I found all these cute tags that I guess I had bought after Christmas. I always have such problems with tags. Um, I don't really like the stick-on kind. I like these more. So I'm um, glad I bought these. And it's got our twine that we can attach to them. So 
that'll be nice for when I start wrapping presents. I want to give this to him tomorrow, but I feel weird giving it to him at the dinner with everybody else when he's the only one I'm giving an actual present to tomorrow. So, might just go ahead and wrap it up. I don't have much of this paper left, apparently. So, this isn't the best paper. Doesn't have to be pretty. I'm going to fold everything in. So, <clears throat> in the past few years, I've tended to use um, gift bags rather than paper, mainly because I feel like they're reusable. Because I can give somebody a gift bag and then they can reuse it the next year. So I tend to stick with the gift bags, but every once in a while you have an actual box that you would like to give to somebody. Now I learned how to wrap from my father. Well, I hate to turn this upside down, but I guess I should turn it upside down. He was the master wrapper in the family, <coughs> and I have fond memories of helping him wrap. When I was a little girl, he would have me stick tape on all my fingers, and I had the tape at the ready when he needed it. And then that skill came in handy later on when I worked at JCPenney. Um, I worked in the catalog department, and one of our jobs there was to do the gift wrapping. So I had a lot of fun doing that. I remember the first Christmas I worked there, I had to work Christmas Eve, which was a bummer, but I was like the newest person on the staff. So, um, and actually it turned out to be a beautiful Christmas Eve because all the men in town waited until the last second to go buy Christmas presents. They were all there <clears throat> on Christmas Eve buying everything and then needing it all gift wrapped because of course they weren't gonna do that themselves. So there I was basically wrapping presents all day, listening to Christmas carols, and, you know, having these men wait in line for hours, and they were all very grateful that I was wrapping. So I got some nice tips that night as well, and yeah, it was just nice and festive and actually turned out to be a great memory. So sometimes you think you get the short end of the stick, but you know, it all depends on your attitude and what you make of things, of how that turns out. So, it all worked out for me. And I get to put all those gift wrapping skills. Well, they didn't line up, but I technically wasn't really thinking about that. So, I think I'm going to use this one. I'll find a cute tag. I have the house heater on right now. It has been so cold at night for, for Southern California anyway. It's been in the 40s. Which is pretty cold for us. So, um... We have these little radiator heaters that we use to heat the house. It's, it saves a lot of money and energy, and it's more of a wet heat because they're oil-filled radiators. So it doesn't, it's not that forced air, like drying out your nasal passages kind of thing. So um, we use those most of the time, but you know, it's kind of hard when you, the whole house is freezing cold. So I tend to wait until my husband has left the house because he's not really somebody who enjoys um, the house heater on. He's allergic to dust. Yes, that's a real thing. So uh, it's really hard for him, you know, breathing wise when that's on.
So I tend to um, I tend to turn it on when I know he's not going to be home for a while, so it doesn't upset his nasal passages, and uh, that way I get to heat the whole house, and it's nice and cozy and toasty when it would take hours for the radiator to do that. I'm going to address this a little bit over here off camera. Okay, I'm just going to use this as ribbon because I've got plenty of the twine, so it's not like I need this to be for all of those. Okay, we're going to start from the other end.
everyone and welcome back to day 16. Today we have tropical lemongrass. I'm not a huge lemongrass fan so we'll see how this goes. So it's lemongrass with peppermint, hibiscus, rose hips, chamomile, and apple. It does look very rosy in there. Oh, that's kind of nice. Definitely tastes, tastes the apple in there for sure. Okay. And we've got our yarn advent. Teen 16. There we go. So, day 16. See what we got here. Ooh, it's getting darker. Getting into some nice deep blues as we go along here. That's so pretty. Okay, so I have to apologize to the poor yarn dyer who made these because I was so confused in the beginning and disappointed that it wasn't like a rainbow of colors. Um, you know, after a few days when I understood what she was doing, that she was doing a gradient, then I'm I love these. They're beautiful, so I just have to apologize for my reaction the first couple of days when I didn't understand what was going on. I have downloaded a few shawl patterns. Um, I'll show you in the next the next vlogmas um, what I'm thinking of doing with these. The one shawl I was thinking of, the Adventurous Shawl by TL Yarncrafts, that's one of the ones I downloaded. Um, the color changes in that shawl look beautiful the way she has it and these are so subtle I don't know that that's going to work with that and it is Tunisian crochet which I do want to learn so that would kind of expand my knowledge but so I'm excited to do something with these okay as you saw yesterday we got the hot chili out of the way there so there's only one of these left and it will be a good one <laughs> I couldn't taste the hot chili at first. I was like, I don't understand what's going on. It doesn't taste like anything. And then the heat hit me and I was like, okay. I'm not a big fan of hotness in the first place, let alone with chocolate. So. They're so hard to break into. I think the only one left is the toffee apple. It goes well with the tea because they both have apple in them. I'm still not getting the actual caramel there. Hmm. Yeah, I can't taste it. Sorry. Constantly licking my fingers on camera. So I'm very excited that this is my last day of work for the year. Yay! So I really like my job, but I'm looking forward to having two weeks off to just do my own thing and be creative and not have to wake up early in the cold and go to work and all of that fun stuff. Uh, we had our dinner last night was really nice and some very generous presents. Let's just say I can get whatever plate set I want now doesn't matter so uh, I'm gonna pick those out hopefully they come in time for Christmas but it's okay if they don't because you know I've hemmed and hawed long enough for that um, and as you saw we just put up the last ornament on the advent calendar so here we have our new ones uh, they're finished I just need to stuff them put the loops on them that one's so cute that turned out so well that heart is so teeny, it was hard to cut out. And then the candle, I really like these ones. And then there's the horseshoe, I forgot to put the French knots on this, so I just need to quickly put some French knots on that, and then that one's ready to go. I'll have to look at the pattern, maybe we hang the loop from here, because you wouldn't want to hang a loop from there. So we've only got four ornaments left after this, and they are the hard ones. So I've got a rocking horse, 
the mug of hot cocoa with the teeny teeny marshmallows I have to cut out and the Santa that has like 15 layers of things on top of him for the beard and the hat and everything. So that'll be interesting. Um, <clears throat> oh, and then I wanted to share with you a cool pattern that I just downloaded. I was thinking of the tote bag for my coworker that I wanted to make her. And um, I saw this on my Instagram feed. This is, what's her name? Rosie Taylor Crafts. So I love all her stuff. She does this beautiful, like, fussy-cutted piecing work that is just amazing and looks gorgeous. So, I mean, I must admit that I downloaded this pattern based on the, uh, the piecing work when, um, I mean, it's, it's basically just your average tote pattern. <laughs> so I don't know that I really needed the pattern. But she does have tips and tricks in here of how to do the piecing work. So I've always wanted to try that. So she kind of gives you all the sizes and explains to you how to um, cut all of that out. So that's cool. Like, see, she's got the kind of ideas for piecing. So I don't know if I can get a hold of like a Disney characters fat quarter bundle or anything, because that that way I could actually do the piecing part. Um, if not, I'll just do it like, like this one with the whole fabric and do that. So I get to take a trip to Joanne's now, after all, and pick out some fabric for her and um, or see if I can find a Disney Fat Quarter Bundle that I can order. And I was thinking of making one of these for me. If I don't do the pieced one for her, then I have lots of scraps that I can experiment with the piecing. So that would be fun. Yeah, and other than that, I'm just wrapping up my last day of work. Since I'm working from home, I get to do this mid-morning instead of late in the evening with you. So I can finish this video tonight and get it up for you so you can watch it on Saturday. And I hope that you have a wonderful week ahead and that you're enjoying your holiday season, whatever you're up to. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Love you. Bye.